Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. I just want to invite you to come and see this Christmas tutorial that I made for you guys. It is a braid made into a fishtail. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Just hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't and come and join. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, before we do the hair, we must talk about this amazing lip product. This is M Cosmetics Lip Cloud in Crimson Red. It's the best matte lipstick I've ever, ever tried. I love it so much. I'm not huge on bold red lips, like especially for every day, so I just take a tiny bit of that and then just put, it goes all over my lips flawlessly. Now, on top of that, I'm going to apply their True Gloss. This is the most amazing lip gloss. It's not sticky and it is actually really long wearing, surprisingly. So I add that on top of the red and then I have my perfect red lip for Christmas. Now for the hair, you're going to take a little bit of hair, part it on each side, like down by your ear, so you have a little bit to pull up. So we're going to make sort of a half up to at this point. Now I'm going to take Speed of Light by Aveda. This is a hair protectant and it also just tends to smooth out my hair and detangle it all at the same time. I love this product so much. Now take just a fine brush and brush the part back out of your face. Now take three sections of your hair and we're going to make just a normal braid. Go over the middle part from the left or the right and then take the opposite side and go over the middle again and that's how you make a normal braid. Over the left, over the middle, right over the middle, left over the middle. We're going to go ahead and braid this piece all the way down to the end. Don't worry about adding an end at the, like the little ponytail holder at the end because you're really not going to need it. So just, now what we're going to do is pull on the pieces of the braid and just kind of loosen it up just a little bit. Now we're going to make a ponytail at the nape of our neck. I'm just going to use one of these clear elastic ponytails. These are sort of hard to get long hair through, but just when it's at the nape of the neck, it's not so terrible. So just do your best and... Try not to ruin the ends of your hair. <laughs> These are actually kind of not that good for your hair, but you know, we do what we have to. Now we're gonna, I'm going to take this Redken hairspray. This is one I got as a gift from a, a, AIA Awards in Hollywood, and also this dry oil spray as well. I'm going to use the dry oil spray to spray the, the braid part. Okay, now we're going to make a fish tail. What, how do you make a fish tail? Is split your hair in two pieces. Then you take a little piece from the left and go over to the right. Then you're going to take a little piece from the right and go over to the left. The thing you want to remember here is just keep your hair split into two sections. It's not a regular braid, so just make sure, as you can see here, I still have only two pieces. So I'm taking a tiny piece from the right, and I'm going to go up and over and just join it in with the left. Same thing on the left. Take a little piece and join it all the way over to the right. Again on the right. I'm going to take a little piece and join it in over to the left side. The smaller pieces you take, the more fine this braid will be and the more fishtail like it will be. So just, it depends on you, like how long you want to take, how thick your hair is, what have you. So just um, keep repeating this process. Once you get it, it's not really hard to do on yourself. What I like to do, people, when people ask me, how on earth did you do that on yourself? I just tell them, I memorize it in my head before I do it. And then you just kind of like practice until you can get it. And just be patient with yourself. It's not hard um, once you get the hang of it. So just keep adding. Take another piece from the left and go over to the right. Another trick um, with braiding this kind of braid is make sure you keep your hands close to the braid. So you don't want to let your hands slide down your hair because then it will just loosen up and it won't look as good and it will be, you know, it's not going to turn out like you want it to. So just try to keep your hands close to the braid and it will turn out a lot better. So just keep on repeating that process. Now, because my hair is really long, I like to turn it around to the front. Now we're basically going to go backwards. So you're going to take a little, take your finger as a hook and just go under this time. So see how I'm grabbing a little piece and joining it into the other side. Again, take a little piece, go under, and then I'm grabbing it with the other hand on the other side. Still keeping the pieces really 
um, section. So you don't want to let those pieces join together or you mess up your braid entirely. So the main thing is, is just to make sure that they don't get mixed up and mixed together. So I'm just going to speed up the process just a little bit um, because it's just the same thing repeating, but you're going to go ahead and watch. I am going to pull up on the pieces once you get like a few inches down. Just pull out the pieces and we're going to, that's going to just widen the braid and make it look, you know, more, more, um, I don't know, just makes it bigger. So I like big, nice braids. So um, just do that. Here I am braiding down a little ways more and then just pulling out on the pieces. Kind of gives it a more bohemian look, which is kind of what I'm going for. So just keep on braiding. Fishtailing all the way down. This braid is called a fishtail. And then just keep pulling up. You don't want to wait till you get to the end to pull up all the pieces or you will have a royal mess. And the pieces will look even more uneven. So you want to, if, if you have really long hair especially, you want to just pull it out as you go. Now to make it really Christmassy and festive, we're going to add a big red bow. I just went and bought this bow at, or this ribbon at Walmart. And then I'm just going to tie it into a bow. I'm not as good at tying bows as my mama. So my mom's a great seamstress. And she could tie the best bows in the world, but I tried mom. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys um, try it out. If you do, please tag me on Instagram. I am Elizabeth Yates Hair on Instagram. Um, and come and follow me if you want to. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day.